this is the Imagined Leviathan, which I got on Keymailer, and I have no idea what it's about, but I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and dive in. Um, I have no idea what this is even about. Click to enter. Okay. You take a final look around the camper van. Your eyes graze over a month's worth of bean tins, chocolate wrappers, scrapped out peanut butter jars. All of it empty. This place has sustained you, but it's time to move on. You think about what comes next. So, I'm wondering if, like, we're here... I'm wondering if we're, like, stranded out here or what the reason is behind it. But, I guess that's why we're playing the game. I'm guessing that... I need food, obviously, and, uh, you know, being around other people, that's questionable. <laughs> You've known for a while that this day was coming in such sparse conditions, the little gold mine of non-perishables you found here weren't going to last long. Enough is enough. You'd rather face the snow than starvation. You step back outside into the unending blizzard and close the camper van door. You sigh, adjust your mittens, and look to the new, the, the nearest few trees onwards. So these are the nearest trees. What is that? Can I pick that up? So it said the nearest few trees, right? Man, this is... I hope this isn't a scary game, because that would be a little freaky. So those are the trees we just came from. So we're not going any further. I'm assuming we go the other way, even though it said, I, th I believe it said the nearest few trees, which I would assume would be those, but I think it was actually talking about those. Which I knew ahead of time, and I am going to quit rambling now. Oh wait, maybe I was supposed to come this way. So how you been? How you guys been? Man, I don't know if it was a good idea to come outside or not. This this game is oddly eerie. I don't think it's a scary game. But it could be. It definitely could be. Not, that, that fire's not going to last us very long, is it? <laughs> so this is a, kind of a walking simulator. I probably will like cut out some of the more repetitious stuff if I don't feel like it fits. If I don't think it's too bad, we'll probably keep it in. What's up there? Said teacher. I was shown a map of 30 years from now. My house, the school. That's fair. Where me. I played, all marked as ocean. The seas are rising, said teacher. It's because we burn black corpse feet and eat red corpse meat. I began to cry as mortal fear overcame me. Why are mommy and daddy letting this happen? Wait, wait. The teacher consoled me. My friends distracted me with games. By the time my father asked what I'd learned that day, I hesitated only briefly before answering nothing. Interesting. 
Interesting. Do we need to keep this? Okay. We finally see some stuff. It's It's been a little while. I've been walking for a good maybe five minutes. <laughs> I'm guessing that we need more fuel, so we're going to grab, grab some stickies. So shift crouches you. Started speeding from time to time. We were distraught when he was diagnosed, but after a year using the wheelchair, life was getting good for Father again. We had a routine. I took care of him. Then one day, he was hit by a speeding car right outside the house. It could have happened to absolutely anyone. He never found the culprit. I was in shock, but years went by and I started to forget again. Aliens. Aliens. That's all I gotta say. This game this information is right here if you would like to check it out further. I did get this game uh, to do a, like a playthrough or review on it from Keymailer. If you guys want to check out that website, I'll also put it in the link if you're a YouTuber or have any kind of social media presence. Uh, you can get free games there, which is pretty cool. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to see more weird games that I'm fairly good at coming up with, uh, please let me know. Until next time, I'm Grinch. And I'll be under my bridge.